freshman Facebooks are finally here! Eh, ete wete beya, hena ish! Ale ho melana, el American Dulfi man paha el wahesha! De el limpez mao! Shoof, our lady bahad moti. As I suspected, those medical supplies were not intended for us, so please stop using them immediately! So now, when I remove these bandages, you should be completely invisible. Oh my god, I can see invisible people! The good news is the freshman Facebooks have finally arrived. These books contain pictures and phone numbers of every freshman. Oh, yes. Now, I know you're all eager to receive your copies, so if you would please break into two smaller, angrier mobs, I could more efficiently address your Facebook and trampling needs. I said two mobs. Everyone looks so stupid in this book. Oh, you look like a total tool. You are a cheerleader? Cheerleading is for girls. That's my field hockey uniform. Oh, at least I'm in here. Ed doesn't even have a picture. My daddy says pictures steal your soul. You're all going to hell. <laughs> look at my picture. It's totally rad. And check out that booger. His name is Greeny. My mom didn't want me to bring him to college because he's a bad influence, but I did anyway. Didn't I, Greeny? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. What? No, I will not play chicken in a pickup truck. All the cool kids, you say? Facebook? Let me see. Slide that book in a chuckerly direction. They ought to call this book Barbecue, because that is some sweet meat. I say that every year. And every year, it's true. This book is for one thing only. Searching for sea urchin, if you know what I mean. Whenever anyone says you know what I mean, I never know what they mean. I know what you mean. Huh? Listen up, my little chucklings, cause lovemaking 101 is now in session. Hey, mama, how's this checking you out? Now I'm calling to take you out so we can make out. So as soon as this number is back in service, I hope you give me a shout out. Over and out. I can do this. Hello there, Abby McBride? <laughs> how long is a Chinaman? What? No, stupid. How long is the guy's name? And he's Chinese. It's not a question. Man, you're so stupid. <laughs> oh, let's do another one. Hello? It's still me. You're supposed to hang up before you dial again, Jagoff. Oh, really? Well, if you're such a know-it-all, Miss Know-it-all, maybe you can answer this. <laughs> How long is a Chinaman? And then I told her it wasn't a question at all. How long is a... <laughs> He's a... <laughs> Sanford, you okay? Quick, wash it down with something. His name is How Long, and he's a Chinaman. That's rich. <laughs> oh, oh. Chinaman is a racist term. Joe, we're talking about a chick that dug me hard. She was totally into me. I hate to break it to you, but college women aren't into illiterate jackasses like you. Really? What kind of jackasses are they into? Women are attracted to accomplished intellectuals like myself. I'm not a woman, but I think you're attractive. Wait, did I say that out loud? Well, I don't know. Hold on. This is in my head, and this is out loud. This is in my head, and this is out loud. All right, now I'm ready. I wonder what Joe would look like with breasts. Anyway, if you're so accomplished, why don't we ever see you with a woman? I mean, besides Sanford. Ha <laughs> ha, burn! Oh, wait. I'm too busy with my studies. Yeah, us too. If we didn't study so much, we'd get a ton of action. Don't make me laugh. What woman would ever want to go out with you guys? We could totally get chicks before you could. Oh yeah? I'd like to see you try. Oh yeah? I'd like to see us try too. For the last time, this week's exam will not have any rhetorical questions. 
I mean, how many times do I have to explain this to you? Mr. Hart. Four. Correct. Good thing they don't deduct points for clumsiness. If they did, I might not have a perfect grade point average. But I do. I do have a perfect grade point average. Perfect. Whoa, size six. French pedicure, intense arches. Mother would be so jealous. All right, so I'll say I'm like an astronaut or a basketball player, because chicks dig tall guys. Can I be a secret agent? Definitely, like an FBI agent. So you should kind of act mysterious. You know, like this. Yeah. Shouldn't you two figure this all out before you hit on us? Hello, ladies. I couldn't help overhearing that I'm a basketball astronaut. And I'm Dell, an undercover HIV agent. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm HIV. Positive. Well, let's face it, Sanford. We're just not ladies' men like Joe. Well, at least you could say you learned one thing in college. In fact, I just came from class where I decided to give Wendy Bonner a little taste of Joe Tate. And I think she likey. And there she is. What a specimen. Why would you be interested in her? She's only three inches tall. Well, four. Wait, now she's five. Oh my god, she's growing. She's turning into a giant. We're all gonna die. She's walking toward us, idiot. Hey, Wendy. What's your name? It's me, Joe Tate, from your... No, I'm talking to your friend. Aren't you Sanford? That depends. Who's asking? I am, silly. Then, uh, what was the question again? I was wondering, you want to go to my sorority date party with me? I must be dreaming. Quick! Somebody pinch a loaf! Fine, I'll do it myself. Whoa! I'm not dreaming! Yes, I'll go. A corsage is cool because you get to pin it on, and that way you get really close to her boob. Now let me try again. Ow. Better. But keep practicing, because if you accidentally poke her, you'll get a face full of milk. I don't get it. Why is Wendy asking you out? Why didn't she ask me? And more important, why am I asking you? I think she's attracted to him because women dig danger. Yeah, I'm dangerous. Check this out. That's a novelty picture you got at the fair. That's your face on Evil Knievel's body. Joe, are you jealous or something? <laughs> 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 man, oh man, was that funny. We don't laugh like that nearly enough. Have we forgotten what it's like to be children? Anyhow, Joe, are you jealous or something? Hi, my name is Brooke. My best friend Wendy told me a cutie named Dell lived here. That's me. I'm Franklin Changberg. I mean Dell. Oh my god, Wendy was right about you. Would you go to my sorority date party with me? Well, let me answer your question with another question. Yes? I'm thinking of switching from anorexia to bulimia because, I mean, my parents bought the meal plan. Did you guys get dates for the dog party? My date is totally mega ugly. He's all like... <sighs> my date's totally gonna be the ugliest date ever. He's all... I'm sorry. It's this Botox. I can't make any facial expressions. Oh my god. Sanford and Dell got invited to a dog party? This is great. I can't wait to rub their cool, moist noses in it. But if me and Wendy have a girl, we'll name her Han Solo. I always like that name for a girl. Dame Rumor tells me that you two are entering into the dangerous world of dating. Sorry, dude. You're too late. Yeah, we're spoken for. Well, I don't want to go out with you guys, but as your RA, it is my responsibility to give you the hard, cold facts about women. Oh, plain hard to get. Okay, you've got my interest. To avoid serious dating dangers, you must follow these simple-to-follow guidelines for dating. Number one, no means no, so don't be afraid to say no if she wants something from you that you're not willing to give. You mean like my collection of American coins with president's heads on them? If by collection of American coins with president's heads on them you mean your innocence, then yes. Man, I had no idea Todd knew so much about dating. Well, I'm starting to wonder if... Get a hold of yourself, man. 
Thanks, Sanford. I needed that. Why are you taping us? Am I the Osbournes? Because I want to forever document the moment you realize that you two are the most undesirable people on the planet. Okay, but I want a copy. I just learned an interesting tidbit about your little sorority event. It's actually a dog party. I love Snoop Dogg. From good times. Hey, hey, hey. Every year, Wendy's sorority has a party where they bring the ugliest state they can find. And this year, you guys were chosen. So if we're dogs... Uh-huh. And this is an annual dog party. That's right. You got it. Then we're going to have hot dates like this every year. <laughs> this is totally sweet. What the hell is wrong with you guys? Are you too stupid to be humiliated? I guess so. Stupid, Joe? Or murder? At least I've avoided the indignity of being invited somewhere because I'm a hideous freak. Hey, cutie pie. What are you doing Saturday night? Killing myself. Oh, well, after that. Could I really be that ugly? Why do I waste my time studying? No one cares about intellect. If I put as much effort into my looks as I do into my studies, I could be one of the beautiful people. Well, for God's sakes, shut the yapper, get out there and make it happen. You know what? I think I will. And as long as we're talking, could you quit popping your zits on me? Ow, cramp! Holy crap, it hurts! Mama's boy! Telling you, I really think I pulled something this time. So long, sucker. Wheel it off, Mama's boy. Boy, you are really cut. I'm strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. You have the most beautiful blue eye. Oh, that. Uh, yeah. Uh, my dog. He's a husky. Was, actually. He just passed away. I thought I'd honor him. I think it's very sexy. We should talk more about my sexiness and dead dog over dinner. That sounds great. Here's my number. Rachel. That's a pretty name. I went to high school with a girl named Rachel. She was kidnapped and later found decapitated in a dumpster behind. So, uh, Saturday good for you? Del, this is going to be the greatest night of our lives. In fact, I'm going to go out on a limb here. All right. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. I think it might... <laughs> Be a little tight. Hey, you're turning the same color as a tie. You're like one of those chameleon lizards. Let's cut your arm off and see if it grows back. Not before the party. It might not grow back in time. Have you ever kissed a girl? Kiss girls? <laughs> no, Del. I kiss women and the elderly. I haven't. What if we have to kiss our dates? There's nothing to it. I'll show you how. Step one, close your eyes. Step two, lean forward. Step three, do this. Ew, gross. Just because it's a dog party doesn't mean that we have to kiss like dogs. Kiss like dogs? What the hell are you talking about? So, that's when I called them a couple of morons and left in a huff. Well, you did the right thing. What's wrong with your food? Nothing. It's great. I'm just full. Full, huh? Maybe you shouldn't have ordered an $8 appetizer. Now you can't even finish your regular meal. Maybe we could finish this conversation back at my place. Well, don't you live kind of far from? Uh, at the risk of being frank, are we going to hook up? Could be. Okay, but then I get to tell you about the time I mistook magnesium chloride for magnesium chlorate. <laughs> I'm laughing just thinking about it. But then again, everything makes me gassy. Del, dude, you're drooling blood! 
Well, it's that time of the month again, when I floss. We are the two luckiest girls in the whole sorority. Welcome, everybody, to the Tri Sigma Pi date party. Now, it's tradition for every date to totally introduce themselves and receive their handsome name tag and party robe. Hello, ladies. I'm Wolf Smith Man Sternowitz. Todd Wolf Smith Man Sternowitz. This is my first date ever. Women never used to respect me until now. Thanks. My name's Ed Bickle, and the stain here on my trousers is P. I name how long? I told you. But I Vietnamese, damn it. Do I look Chinese? No, that because I Vietnamese. My bad. And I six foot seven. Now I'm gonna do a machine gun. And a cow. Now a cow getting shot by a machine gun. And now a cow getting shot by a machine gun. Extended house mix. Uh-oh, head rush. Here we are. Oh, good God. Oopsie daisies. I forgot my sorority sisters were having a party tonight. But since we're here, you can be my date. Here he is, girls. Totally bring him up here. Get up there, stud. Tell him about how you call an entree a regular meal. She didn't even finish it. <laughs> Fine. You know, when I think of a bully, I usually think of a big, muscular guy in a speedo kicking sand in some little, scrawny, bespectacled guy's face. Yeah, I hate that scrawny guy. With his stupid, sandless face, all spectacled and stuff. Screw him. Well, today, that big, muscular guy is the girls of Tri Sigma Pi. You were all invited tonight because you are ugly. These women are treating you like dogs. Yeah, right. Prove it. All they care about is what you look like. They don't care about who you are, what kind of intellect you have, or your dreams of becoming a doctor. Well, I will not let my fellow dogs be humiliated any longer. Come on, boys. We're going home. Want to go outside? Come on, let's go. I'm sorry my date ruined the party. It's not all bad. At least we don't have to have sex with them this year. That's totally my least favorite of all the Tri Sigma Pi traditions. Oh, no. What about those three? This sorority was totally founded on tradition. <laughs> hey, wait up! Guy who made speech. I was listening to what you said in there, and it got me thinking. Oh? Yeah. I heard you say you're gonna be a doctor? Yeah. So, we should keep in touch. What? Oh, I see. You just want to stay in touch with me because I'll be a rich and successful doctor. Were you not listening? Okay, I'll call you. Well, I wouldn't say it was a total loss. Yeah, this here cone keeps me from licking my hot spots. And I found out I have five of the warning signs for hip dysplasia. I'll make that six. Wow, I never want to do that again. I know. It was messy and smelly and even kind of leaked a little. I felt like I didn't know what I was doing. Well, every so often you gotta try new stuff. Now you can say you've eaten an omelet. So, how about that sex last night? That was totally awesome. Totally. It's go time, Paco. A lot more nonsense on the next three south. A bad man! I'm a bad man! <laughs>